He just goes fast and get by him. Crossover, fake like you're about to spin move. Oh no, where are you going? Come back over here. But as soon as he recognizes that Bledsoe is just done after he crosses pass with Juan Toscano Anderson. Hey. Uh, two guys who can attack, get into the paint, and um, you know move the ball. So there, there's an, a lot of offense is generated with Steph and Jordan on the floor at the same time. They play off of each other pretty well. You know they um, they, they give each other plenty of space, and you know you can see Jordan's not shy out there. You know it doesn't matter who's out there; he's going to let it fly, which I love. His confidence is uh, is overflowing. So it's. Uh, it's good stuff. He's had a great camp, just like we expected. And uh, the combination with, with Steph was good last year, and it continues to be good this year. Um, I think all the work paid off. Um, you know, there's a reason our, our guys drafted him. Um, you know, he's a, he was a very skilled player uh, coming out of the draft. It's a matter of really, you know, figuring out the speed of the game and, and figuring out what he needed to do, where his shots could come from. Um, we've all talked about how hard he's worked. And then I thought the bubble last year in Orlando was really important for him. You know, Chris Weems uh, did a great job with him. Uh, he played big minutes. He was able to make some mistakes and and uh, understand them and, you know, keep playing big minutes and getting up a lot of shots and making plays. And, and then when he came back at the end of the year, he was, you know, he had a lot of confidence. So uh, he's, that's just carried over into this year. I mean, he's just out there hooping. I've seen him do this, you know, for three summers now. Um, the NBA is a hard place to play. I don't know why everybody fans sit back or, you know, the average viewer sits back, sit back and think this is an easy game to play. I mean, you're playing with the best players in the world to ever do this. So uh, I always saw it, though. It's just a matter of time. Some people have to grow into their environment. And uh, I'm excited for him, man. His, conf his confidence is out of this world. And sometimes I look at him and I'm like, damn, now I admire you for that because everybody was shitting on him two years ago. Um, and I always said Jordan Poole was either going to be a bust in this league or he was going to be a really, 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 really good player in this league because his confidence is out of his world and his confidence is going to take him that far. Obviously, the work he puts in speaks for itself, but I'm extremely excited for him and I'm proud to be his teammate, man. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch that kid grow and I like to watch people win. So, um, I'll get my pom-poms out for that kid. Big fan of his. Knew it. Let's just glide me home. Pretty. Because you have so much shooting, Dwight Howard's not collective effort to rebound the ball. Now, the one thing about Chase Center, if people haven't been yet, is Brody Poole flips it in. There's, it was open a little bit last year, but fans are really starting to come out this season and really experience Chase Center all heads off as far as the blue So what kind of feedback are you getting from them? Tap by Mello, almost went in his own basket. Look at Toscano Anderson. Pool wide open. He should knock this down. And he got two on one for those bigs. A little step back. Raymond wanted Westbrook in the post. Is that that Jordan Pool? Everybody runs to staff, but I'm telling you, we saw a couple years ago will be desperately needed this year. Jordan Poole, a little there. beautifully Still done. a quarter plus left in this game. Let's go. Jordan Poole. Everything looks like zoning it up and drop coverage. Your defender gets caught on that screen a little bit. Just let it fly. Beautiful steal by Poole. Then he's fouled by Taylor Horton. Look at you. Make sure I get on the highlight. Leak bump. Tried to drop it off. Draymond was ready. Push ahead Jordan Poole. Got Rondo to beat. <laughs> DeAndre Jordan lives and not working. Raymond setting up Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole made seven threes against Portland. This will be likely the last quarter for Stephen. These players are continuing to get used to him, his own coaching staff. But so far, from what we've seen in training camp, and he's right at the rim over That's winning. it. That's what you want to see from the big man. Poole the other way. The yeah. green light is on for Poole, who knocks down another one. A percent from three last year. Poole the other way will trigger a deep Ooh. one. And got it. His third three point. And I know we say that every year about most of these players. He's added 10 pounds of muscle, but 
I mean, it is noticeable on CJ's. Carlisle, who was playing Chucky Atkins late in ball games in the fourth quarter, although Chauncey was the starter. <laughs> and he went to Carlisle and said, hey, hey man, I'm the starter. <laughs> when you're off the ball, and, and Coach Brillup jumps into the drill and starts to walk it through it, he's talking through it like he's going through it in real time, like he's on the floor. Is exactly what the Blazers need as a test defensively because of how well they move and swing the ball. They force you to defend against the ball screen. Looney. Advance to Toscano Anderson. Pool spots a seam to the hole and laid it up. And smart help defenders will do against those bigs. They'll let them sometimes take a dribble, turn their back, and then strike. Triggering a three is little and taking it off the deck is Poole. 455 left in the third. Poole comes down. That's a deep three and he knocked. Down to seven. Jordan Poole on Austin Rivers. Little step back jumper. I tell you what. Jordan Poole. Year three. Yeah, that'd be a fine. Super smart player. The elites are drawing kick. Look at the ball move around. And Jordan Poole pays it off of the team in his career. That will equal the Chucky Brown record. Oh, nice delivery. Avery Bradley off the pool of feet. It's preseason. Ooh, ooh, pool again. Jordan oh, Poole. Oh. How about JTA with a little drop off? And the Warriors a chance to run it back. It's fun to watch Juan handle. There is Porter in the corner again. That's his spot. It's third three. He's got his house here. Yep. Yeah, and he does golf, as, as, you, as oh. you guys all know. You know so. Jordan Poole with a sweet left. On Toscano Anderson, all the Warrior drawn kicks. This is how they play in the Jordan Poole. All the way to the iron to flip it in and drop. That contest was a long time ago. <laughs> Jordan Poole down the lane. Oh, what a tough high floater. A little too long. And now you're looking at Eric. What? You know, is that you? Hey, I got 20. I'm going to go do it again. Mm. Jordan attacking again. Fake handoff out of just like Draymond. So Draymond loved it. But it didn't work initially, so he had to make another move. He was ready. Jordan Poole, the three. Working Eric Pascal back in. It's going to be valuable. Jordan inside the arc, or just the corners. He can definitely have a long career. It's the same as Jordan's difference in year two. It does look like they fell out as Jordan Poole went out and did the 28th pick. Continues his development and moving with the ball. It's Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole for a new career high. There it is. So 29 and again. Smiley Gates looking for Poole again. Another three. Why not? Smiley Gates from Jordan Poole. Nasty Euro step. For the guards. Jordan Poole trying to turn the corner. Flipping it up. And 